Okay, now I'm going to answer a question or some questions from um, the M1 mechanics textbook, the new international A-level textbook um, from chapter three, uh, review exercise, which is on page 50. And I've been asked to answer question three, part C. I'll just do the whole of question three. And um, that's what I'm gonna do. So sometimes I do answer questions from the textbook for my students who ask for it. So you're welcome to ask questions from the textbook if need be. Now, a particle P moves with constant acceleration minus 3i plus j meters per second. So we know the acceleration of this particle is given by minus 3i plus 1j. I like to use these column vectors. Um, at time t seconds, its velocity is v meters per second. So v, it's, we, were gonna, we don't know what it is. Um, it says when t equals zero, okay, so you can say v zero, the initial velocity you could say, is going to be 5i minus 3j. Okay, find the value of t when p is moving parallel to the vector i. Okay, so when it's moving parallel to the vector i, then its velocity will be equal to um, some value on the i component, but zero on the j component. That will be the velocity of the vector when it's moving parallel to i. Okay, if you think about that, because if it's moving parallel to i, it's going to be going horizontally, so it will have a zero j component. So you'll have something which we don't know, we're going to call it k for now, we don't actually actually need to know that in the question, but anyway, uh, we know that it's going to be something on the i component, but zero on the j component, and it says find the value of t. Okay, so we're going to find the value of t when this is true. Now, we're going, we've got constant acceleration, so we've got like the Suvat equations here. So this is like your a, this is like your u, this is like your initial velocity, and this is like your v, and we need to find the value of t when v is equal to this. So if we think about the equations of motion, we got v equals u plus at. The equations of motion, the Suva equations, this is for constant acceleration. So we know that v is k0. We know that u is the initial velocity, which is 5 minus 3. And we know that the acceleration is minus 3, 1. So you're going to have t times minus 3 and 1. And what we have to do here is we have to find what t is. Okay, that's what we have to find what t is in this question. So if we can set up a pair of equations here, in fact, we only need the second equation. They only need the, we know that, that the, the i component is j, uh, the j component is 0. So we can say minus 3 plus t equals 0. So we can say that from this we can extract that 0 equals minus 3 plus t, oops, plus t. Okay, if minus 3 plus t is equal to 0, that means t is equal to 3 seconds. So we've solved part A. This is the answer to part A. Okay, so the value of t when p is moving parallel to the vector i is t, when t is 3 seconds. Then it says find the speed of p when t is 5. Okay, so part B, find the speed of um, the, find the speed of the particle p when t is 5 seconds. So we know again v equals u plus a t. v equals u plus a t. So we need to find v in order to answer this question. We know u is equal to 5 minus 3. We know a is equal to minus 3, 1. And we know that t is equal to 5 seconds. So again we can use v equals u plus a t. Oops. Oh, this video doesn't lag too much. So v is equal to u plus a t. Okay, so we know here that u is 5 minus 3. So v, which is part of the, we need to find v first before we can find the speed. 5 minus 3 plus minus 3, 1 times 5. Okay, there's a time 5. So we got 5. So our vector v, our velocity, um, is going to be 5 minus 15, which is minus 10. I have minus 3 plus 5, which is 2. So that's the vector v. So therefore, the speed, we know the speed is going to be the magnitude of v at 5 seconds. Let's put a little 5 here to show that's at 5 seconds. The magnitude of v is going to be the square root of 100 plus, plus 4. So the square root of 104. Let's just see if that um, simplifies. Um, the square root of 104. Is there any perfect square factors? Yes. 2 root 26. 
that's 2 root 26, that's the exact value. Um, sorry, 2 root 26 meters per second. Is it in meters per second? Yeah, meters per second. So that's the speed of t, when, uh, that's the speed. Remember, the speed is the magnitude of the velocity. So if you just found this vector here, that's not the answer. That's the velocity, not the speed. You find its magnitude. And part C says, find the angle between the vector i and the direction of p when t equals 5. Okay, so part C, you've got to find the angle that this vector minus, so the velocity when v equals 5 is minus 10 i and 2 j, which is minus 10 2. We want to know what angle this makes with i. Now, i is a unit vector in the horizontal direction, in positive horizontal direction. Okay, so this is i. This is the direction of i. Okay, in this direction. And ours is, our vector is minus 10, 2. So it's like our vector is going like this. Minus 10 and then 2. So it's going up like this. Okay, something like this. All right. <clears throat> so what we need to do is to find the vector made between i and our vector. So it's, what we need is, is this angle here. This is the angle that we're looking for. This is the angle that we need. Let's call this angle theta. And in order to find angle theta, we can use, find this acute angle here. Okay, so what we can say is that uh, this angle here, if you think about it, this is minus 10, this is 2. Let's just take its magnitude. We can say the tan of alpha is equal to the opposite over the um, adjacent, which is 2 over 10. So tan of alpha is 2 over 10. So alpha is equal to inverse tan of 1 fifth. 2 over 10 is 1 fifth. Okay, let's see what that gives us. Inverse tan. Inverse tan of 1 fifth. That gives us 11.3099. 11.3099. 11 degrees. But we want the angle, the, the, this acute angle here, this obtuse angle here. Yeah, so we can say that the angle that we need, theta, Okay, the angle that we need is 180 minus our answer. So I'm going to write it in this more exact form and then round in the end. So we're going to 180 minus answer gives us 168.690, 168.690, 168.690, which we round to one decimal place, 168. Point seven degrees. It doesn't say find the bearing, it says just find the angle. Okay, the angle between I and the direction of motion of P. Yeah. So when it says uh, the, the angle between the direction of motion of P and I, it means the angle between the positive direction of I, of course, okay, because I is going in this direction. Okay, so that is the answer there for this question. Question number three from M1, chapter review three.